Hello everyone and welcome back. As now for the 17th episode I will analyze none other than Emperor Bellos, also known as Philip Wittabain, the main antagonist of the Owl House. A centuries old witch hunter who rules over the magic kind in order to destroy it, Bellos, or Philip if you want, is definitely one of the most evil and one of the most realistic villains ever made in animation, as people like him tragically were a reality centuries ago, and in this episode I'm going to analyze all the information given about him throughout the series, to understand Bellos and his journey from an orphan on, on Earth, to the immortal witch hunter and emperor of magic he ultimately became on the Boiling Isles. And now without further ado, let's dive in. Bellos was originally born as Philip Wittabain in England in the early 1600s, and he was eventually orphaned at a young age and was taken care by his older brother Caleb. Eventually, both brothers migrated into the colonial America in 1613, and in order to adjust themselves to the society at the time, they had no choice but to become witch hunters. One day, Caleb did meet a real witch in the woods named Evelyn, who they both fell in love with, and she invited him to come with her on the Boiling Isles, into the Demon Realm. Philip washed everything from the bushes, and eventually followed uh, both of them to the, in the Demon Realm. And, uh, and upon arriving, Philip has spent some time trying to adjust in, in with his new life, and he eventually discovered that his brother is in genuine love with the witch, and got her pregnant. And in response to this, both brothers engaged into a knife duel, which led to uh, Philip killing Caleb in cold blood and fleeing the scene before Evelyn managed to curse him as revenge for her fallen husband. And thus, Philip was officially cursed to turn into a monster, and because of this, he had to consume the souls of Palisman in order to stay alive and to maintain his human form. And by doing that, the Palisman also prolonged his lifespan, allowing him to live centuries longer than average humans. And so, Philip officially decided to stay on the Boiling Isles in order to destroy the magic eye. And thus, he will spend the next 400 years of his life trying to do that. And eventually, uh, he can um, come to find about a powerful being known as the Collector, who is believed to have all the answers to the problems. And so, he organized various expeditions across the Isles, and even sacrificed uh, his partners in order to achieve his goals. And eventually, sometime between 1660 to 1670, he was visited by a time-traveling Luz Nocella and Lily Clautorm, who pretended to be Luzura the Crab Maiden and Under Truth, who tried to find information about the Collector, hoping that Luz could eventually find a way back on Earth. Of course, Philip officially used both of them to finally gain the mirror of the Collector, in order to summon him. And upon discovering that he was nothing more but a god-like child, with poor understanding of her morality and mortality, they both come to make a deal. And thus, the Collector has to teach Philip about artificial magic and a draining spell that he will use to destroy the magic kind in exchange for him to set the Collector free. And thus, for decades, if not even for centuries, he trained under the Collector's tutelage in order to master artificial magic and in order to rise to power over the Boiling Isles. And so, he became a preacher known as Belos, who came to be able to speak with the Titan, and managed to rally up many to his cause to destroy the wild magic and to teach everyone how to use magic properly. And finally, by 1970, he officially succeeded to come to power as Emperor Belos, and pro proclaimed the Boiling Isles as an empire, and reorganized it into a coven system. Ten covens in total, to be more precise. Nine of them to teach witches and wizards how to use their magic, and one of them, the Emperor's coven, to personally serve him. And thus, Belos will officially rule over the Isles with an Iron Fist for decades to come. Eventually, by 1990, Bellos became indirectly responsible for the fallout between Ada and Lilith, as Lilith cursed Ada with the Owl Beast curse in order to gain a spot in the Emperor's Coven, resulting in her becoming the Owl Lady and being hunted by the Emperor and his forces for the next 30 years. And now, eventually, by the summer of 2020, now 50 years into his rule, he desired to uh, capture Ida in order to regain back the portal door, under the lie that he will cure her from her curse and make her part of a coven. But of course, he now come in contact and in conflict with the bane of his existence, Luz Noceda, also known as Luz the Human, the first human he met in 400 years, who engaged into a duel with him in order to free Ida, and as both of them made a deal, in which Luz gave him the portal in exchange to allow her to save the others. But also Luz went back on her word and blown up the portal in order to avoid Bellos from achieving his plans. But nevertheless, he managed to rebuild the portal in order to prepare the eventual arrival of the Day of Unity, the day when he will finally kill the witch kind. 
while at the same time Lilith betrayed him and joined Ida and Luz in order to stop Belos, while meanwhile he appointed Hunter, one of the Grimwalkers that he created, clones of his dead brother Caleb as the new leader of the Emperor's Coven, and meanwhile he tried to distract Luz and the others and eventually to keep an eye on them, all the while he prepared the portal door and the eventual arrival of the Day of Unity, and when Luz and Hunter arrived into his mind and discovered the truth about the fact that whole Belos made and killed all the Grimwalkers throughout his life, as well as the fact that he is Philip Wittabain and how he is sadistically taunted Luz about how she indirectly helped him to take over the Boiling Isles by helping him to find the Collector centuries ago. And while Belos did try to kill Luz and Hunter, they both managed to escape and he banded them as fugitives. And now, before I go any further, we all should stop and ask ourselves. Is Belos evil? And I do understand the silliness of the question, but I should be un understandable few things about him. First of all is the fact that he might have some sort of a tragic backstory, as he grown up as an orphan on earth and was raised by the Puritan society of the 17th century. And thus, in other words, many people could consider that Belos is somewhat brainwashed into being the master that we see, given the fact the, the mindset of his times. However, he, none of this entirely justifies his crimes, as he did have a positive influence in his life. Caleb, and when Caleb was able to change his mind and see the witches and wizards weren't as evil, he decided to kill his own brother, not to mention that he was now witness of the 21st century people, us, officially love the concept of magic, limit fictional and wish that we could have it, for approving it this reason is absolutely null. Another thing here is the fact that it's implied that Belos is some sort of a well-intentioned extremist, as he claims that everything he does is to save humanity from evil. However, humanity was never into a threat because of the witch kind, but rather reversed. We are a threat to them, as we are more than capable to defend ourselves thanks to our modern technology, and not to mention that the witches don't have any kind of ill intent towards humans. As not to mention that he also has no qualms about killing fellow humans who disagree with him, just like how he killed his own brother Caleb, or how he tried to kill us throughout the series. As Luz pointed out his hypocrisy, while the Titan pointed out that Belos cares to be nothing more but a hero of his own delusion, proving that his reason too is absolutely null. And finally, the last thing that I want to discuss is the fact that he has remorse over killing Caleb. And yes, he does have some sort of level of regret, as he deems killing Caleb, his own brother, was the worst memory of his life, and creating the Grimwalkers into his image might be some sort of a way to have his brother back. However, he killed all these Grimwalkers every single time they found out the truth, under the pretext they betray him, thus proving that Belos is nothing short but a pure evil maniac who cares for no one but himself, and he was finally confronted by the ghost or hallucination of Caleb in season 3, but instead to acknowledge everything he did, and even try to make amends, he blamed him for all the horrible things he did, proving that now Belos is far too, uh, too gone in order to redeem himself, and thus the answer is ultimately yes. Belos is evil, and finally when the Day of Unity officially arrived, he went on with his plan to kill all the witch kind by using the draining spell to drain the magic out of their sigils. All the while he tried and betrayed everybody whoever was loyal to him, including the Collector, and tried one last time to convince Luz to join him. And when that failed, he officially engaged into a duel with her and the Hexai squad, a duel that led to him's defeat at the hands of the freed Collector, who managed to reverse the draining spell and save the witch kind but in the process he managed to take over the Boiling Isles. However, this defeat will not be the end for Emperor Belos, as he managed to secretly survive and found a way back on Earth, back to the port that he left behind centuries ago, only to find everything changed, and he spent months in draining and killing animals in order to recover his strength and he proceeds to possess Hunter to regain access back to the Boiling Isles. And then he was confronted by the ghost or hallucinations of Caleb and all the Grimwalkers he made and killed, and then proceeds to possess an unfinished one and then may found his way into the Collector's Palace, when he possessed the puppeteer when Rain whispers. But of course, when he tried to possess the Collector has failed, he proceeds to manipulate him to turn him on his king, and to make him to convince the Luz came back in order to destroy him, and bite himself enough time to possess the Titan in order to destroy the Boiling Isles once and for all, only to find his own demise on the hands of Luz, finally killing the madman and ending his madness once and for all. So in the end, 
Who was Philip Wittemain? He was nothing more but a diabolical psychopath who only wanted power and glory in his own name, a monster that would do anything and sacrifice basically anybody, even family in order to achieve his ultimate goals, and a monster that could easily be called by many as one of the most evil and one of the most realistic villains ever made in animation. Thanks for watching everyone, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and have a nice day. Oh, shut up.